one. Yes, yes. Uh, right now, we have Mr. Reggie Carmelia on the line. And Reggie is a real estate developer. And uh, while we trade some stocks, we're just gonna have a conversation. How you see? How you? How you doing today, Mr. Reggie? Oh, okay, excellent, excellent, and uh, pretty much I see you. Um, you know, we appreciate the content that you've been uh, providing us for Vescur, but we wanted to talk to you a little bit about you know the real estate sector and where you see it, it going in regards to you know all this COVID madness. Okay. You said close to 08 type of situation. Yes, I really feel so. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, then let me ask you this: with um, you know, the the real estate sector has been taking uh somewhat of a up and down situation, where you know some days the market is in the red, some days the market is in the green. Now, are you are you um, seeing that happen in in regards to what's going on with COVID as more stores and and businesses open up? I mean, do you see commercial real estate, you know, making a change for the good, or do you see it going more towards the uh, the housing sector? No, go ahead.
think we're going to go back to normal if what we think of as normal to a degree for another year and a half. And that's just my personal opinion. Got you. And with that being, you know, with the impact of that, that's when you're going to see, you know, and again, adjustments in models. You know, a lot of companies think, hey, we don't, you know, we really realize, you know, we know the square foot, the square footage. Now that landowner and or building owner, you know, okay, what do I adjust? You know, how do I change this or what kind of, uh, do I charge you less than to fill my space? You know, what do I do? I've got, you know, 100,000 square feet or a million square feet out there that's going to be empty because, you know, they say they don't need it. Understandable. You know, I, I, you know, I, yeah, so, you know, then you've got other businesses that'll, that'll keep growing, but I think the delivery business is going to be booming. I think that's going to be the, the really end all of the meal because the people, you know, because of the fact that people changing the way they're Gotcha. For the most part, I can be like, if it's a, 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 break, a regular item like pens or something like that, I can get a dollar that I gotta go with. Oh, okay. Got you. Well, today has been a phenomenal day for the real estate stocks. I mean, you have AHT up 5.32%. You have uh, VICI, which is Vici Properties. They're up 5.72%. Oh, my God. HT right now is up 10.77%. Okay, and that's Hersha Hospitality Trust, and and I know you you in big favor of companies that do senior housing, you know, and 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 um and nursing, and things of that nature. So I mean, for that sector as well, where do you see the market turning? Got you. So you're saying, okay, so you're saying the REITs, the REITs is a good way to go. I know uh, management and development uh, has been on an uptick, but you're basically saying those hospitality REITs is, is going to be the way to go. Because for the ones who survive uh, this pandemic, I mean, it's only going to boom even more, huh? Do that, you know, do that merger, the MA, you know, merger acquisition, take it over because of the fact 
Yes. Yes, that's understood. Okay. Okay. Well, folks, uh, that's Reggie Cormelia, and this is Invest Curb Watch. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later, Reggie. All right.